Hi, my name is Andrew Varga and I'm with Razorback Off-Road. Today we're very excited to feature our new rock sliders for the Polaris General. And I'll just kind of go over some of the things that will be included in the kit that we'll send you. When you receive your sliders from Razorback Off-Road, uh, we include all the, all the hardware and components to make it a direct bolt onto the machine. There will be no drilling required or anything like that. It's a very easy install. Some of the tools that you'll need for the installation will be a 10 millimeter socket, an extension, and the extension just makes it a lot easier for the installation as you'll see here in a minute, a ratchet, and like I said, we, we include all the hardware and you'll need a T40 Torx bit to take off the existing hardware on the machine. And so how we're gonna start is we're actually gonna start with the T40 Torx bit and we're gonna go ahead and take off the existing hardware off the machine. So I'll go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do is we're, there's three existing bolts here on the machine and that's what we're going to remove first before we install the rock slider. So go ahead and do that. So once you remove those three existing bolts off the machine, you're going to go ahead and grab three bolts that we provided you and also grab the 10 millimeter socket, the extension, and the ratchet. So I just wanted to talk about kind of the design of, of these rock sliders. As you can see, this has two bent tabs on this lower bracket, on these lower brackets right here. And what, what these are intended for is it's gonna basically help you align the slider onto the machine. As you can see, it'll go right into the pre-existing holes that are um, from the manufacturer on the machine. So these will slide right in there and then these bolt holes will line up with the with the previous bolt holes that you just removed the hardware from. So I'll go ahead and show that. So as you'll see, it literally will slide right into place and it almost holds itself. I'll just hold the top with my right hand like so. And I'll start with this middle, kind of this back lower bracket and I'll just start and just start with hand tightening it on, onto, onto the machine. And once you kind of get it started, that's what I was talking about before where you use the socket and the extension and you can use that to finish. Just get it you know, tight enough to where it'll hold itself up there. And as you can see, once you kind of get that one started, it'll pretty much hold itself. Go ahead and grab the other hardware and put in the other two bolts as well. Okay, just hand tight. And we'll do this one. On the front one, if you look kind of right through the top here, you can kind of see the hole and that's why this extension is kind of handy because then you, you can guide that bolt right into the pre-existing hole here. Okay, and then once you have that, grab your socket and go ahead and tighten, tighten the bolt pretty good onto the machine. Okay. Okay. Right. So once you have all the bolts tightened onto this side, you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. It's a, as you can see, it's a very quick install and. It should take you no time to get this onto your machine and get you back up and running. This will complete the installation of the rock sliders for the Polaris General. And if you haven't yet, please visit our website at razorbackoffroad.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And other than that, we'll see you out on the trail.